Hey guys, this is iTower, and today I'm going to tell you about the two main components of web development front-end and back-end. These two areas often seem completely different, but they are deeply interconnected, especially now in 2025. We'll look at how they differ, what each developer does, and how to choose what suits you best. Before we begin, I kindly ask you to subscribe to the channel and like this video. It really helps support the channel and motivates me to create even more useful content for you. Now, let's get started. First, let's figure out what front-end is. It's not just design and pretty buttons, as it might seem at first glance. Front-end is everything you see on a website when you open it in a browser. It includes both the interaction with the site and its functionality. Imagine you visit a website, how it looks, how you interact with it, and how it responds to your actions. That's front-end. For example, when you click a button and it changes color, or when you fill out a form and the site provides suggestions. All these elements are part of front-end development. Moreover, front-end development is not just about appearance, but also about the website's functionality, how it communicates with the server, and how quickly it responds to your actions. Front-end development involves not only design, but also working with functional elements of a website. For example, in a real e-commerce project, you might need to integrate product filters, dynamically load additional pages, or implement asynchronous form validation. Imagine there are dozens of product categories, the goal is to ensure that when users apply filters, such as price or size, the displayed products update instantly without reloading the page. This is achieved using JavaScript and API requests to the backend, which return the necessary data without refreshing the entire site. This is no longer just design, but real functionality that needs to be as fast and user-friendly as possible. Today, the main technologies for front-end development are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. HTML defines the structure of a web page, CSS is responsible for its style and appearance, and JavaScript adds interactivity and dynamic behavior. To make development more efficient, developers use frameworks and libraries. These help organize code, speed up development, and simplify working with large projects. Some of the most popular front-end frameworks on the market are React, Vue, and Angular. What's important is that a strong knowledge of JavaScript is essential for front-end development. It serves as the foundation for all frameworks. They don't replace JavaScript, but rather simplify the development process, allowing you to write code faster and with fewer errors. That's why, before diving into frameworks, you need to be confident in your JavaScript skills, because frameworks like Vue, Angular, and React are all built on top of it. If you're just starting or looking to try something new, I'd recommend checking out Vue or Angular. These frameworks are currently in high demand, with many job opportunities and they have less competition compared to React, giving you a better chance of landing a job and learning faster. React is undoubtedly one of the most powerful and popular frameworks, but its popularity also means higher competition, making it harder to break into the job market. On the other hand, React is convenient and relatively easy to learn, with plenty of learning resources available. Frameworks greatly simplify the development process. For example, in Vue, you don't need to manually write code to update the page the framework handles this automatically, allowing you to focus on your application's logic. Take a web app for displaying statistics. With Vue, you can create components that update only when necessary, without reloading the entire page. This enables faster and more user-friendly interfaces. As you can see, front-end development is much more than just the appearance of a website. It's about how it works, interacts with the server, and responds to user actions. Modern web development requires front-end developers to master not only basic technologies, but also frameworks that enable the creation of complex, functional applications. Now, let's talk about back-end development. The back-end is responsible for server logic, data processing, storage, and interaction with databases. It operates behind the scenes, making most website features possible. One of the most popular back-end technologies is Node.js, which allows JavaScript to be used on both the client and server sites. This simplifies development by enabling a unified programming language across the stack. Frameworks, like Express, help build server applications and handle HTTP requests efficiently. Other backend frameworks include Ruby on Rails, Django, and Spring, each tailored to a specific programming language. Ruby on Rails is great for web applications. Django Python-based offers many built-in solutions, and Spring is widely used for Java applications. Data storage is another key aspect. SQL databases are best for structured data like users, orders, and products. They support complex queries and ensure data integrity. However, backend development has evolved beyond just databases and servers. Today, APIs like REST, GraphQL play a crucial role, 
allowing the backend to communicate efficiently with the frontend. Backend developers focus on designing APIs, processing requests, and optimizing responses to ensure fast data access. Backend logic includes not only database operations, but also business algorithms, integrations with external services, like payment systems or social media, and scalability, ensuring applications handle millions of requests efficiently. Security is another critical aspect. Modern backend development involves data encryption, authentication, and protecting against attacks like SQL injection. To summarize, Frontend is ideal for those who enjoy working with design, animations, and user interactions. If you love creating beautiful, user-friendly interfaces, this is the path for you. Technologies like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript will be your foundation, along with frameworks for building interactive applications. Backend is for those interested in logic, data processing, and scalable systems. If you enjoy working with databases, security, and server-side functionality, backend development is a great fit. You'll work with languages like Node, Python, Ruby, or Java to build robust systems. Choosing between front-end and back-end depends on your interests. If you prefer UI and UX and creating seamless user experiences, go for front-end. If you enjoy problem-solving databases and system architecture, back-end might be the better choice. The best approach? Try both. Start with front-end to understand interface design, then explore back-end to learn how data and logic work behind the scenes. This will give you a well-rounded understanding of web development and help you decide your ideal path.